Cruising aboard scenic gem through the towns and villages of the Normandy region is surely one of the best ways to enjoy the countryside of northern France, each day arriving in a new and delightful port. Man, this is an impossibly beautiful town, but it's circular. Why is it circular? Yeah, this is because uh, originally a castle was built here. Uh, that was completely round, so all the town was built around oh, it right. at the 11th century. Right. Listed among the most beautiful villages of France, Lyon La Forêt is the former residence of the Dukes of Normandy. That's why we have castles. We also have a lot of mansions and abbeys in the surroundings because of the uh, huge forests uh, that is made of beech trees. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of people enjoying hunting and spending weekends and time here. Just 30 kilometers away is the former capital of Normandy, Rouen. With Romans and Vikings both settling in this part of the Seine, Rouen still proudly represents its medieval history. Oh! Welcome to Normandy, David. Follow me. Rollo the Viking, aka Ben Bailey the tour guide, helps really bring this history to life in today's scenic free choice excursion. Rouen boasts the second largest number of heritage listed buildings in France after Paris, and perhaps the most striking of them all is Notre Dame Cathedral. This is a high Gothic architecture, medieval Europe. Built when? Uh, well, the original cathedral was built in about the year 1180, although the building goes back to Roman times before then. Because there are different styles here. I mean, this is, this is definitely different to that side. Absolutely. So if you look at the left-hand side, that is the Tour de San Roman. That's the oldest part of the cathedral. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then as we move to the right, you're going to see the famous Butter Tower. It's so that fun. gets its name simply because of its colour. Traditionally, Notre Dame Cathedral was where the Dukes of Normandy were crowned and where many of their tombs are housed to this day. This is Rollo, this is your man. This is Rollo, so this is the original Viking warlord who creates Normandy, which means land of the Northmen. Right. So this is his tomb. I thought they burned the Vikings. So Rollo, when he becomes the Count of Rouen, he actually becomes a Christian. Ah, oh, okay. And he takes the name Robert, and he's buried like a Christian, right. not a pagan. Rouen is also significant because of Joan of Arc, a national heroine, heard voices, saw visions, believed she had a divine mission to save France from Britain, wore masculine clothing, and was accused of heresy and sorcery, and burned at the stake right here in 1431. 25 years later, she was found innocent of all crimes and canonized by the Pope. She's now patron saint of France. Too little too late. There's now a museum and memorial here in her honor. This is an entirely different kind of style right here, isn't it? Yeah, so if you imagine this part of the city got uh, damaged during World War II, the bombings after D-Day. Uh, the original church of Saint Vincent was destroyed in those bombings. And then in about 1976, they decided to rebuild the church, but in a, a contemporary style. And they wanted to reflect the city's or the region's Viking heritage. Yeah. So you can really feel that Scandinavian influence of a Viking the ship or a, or yeah, a, yeah, a longboat yeah, yeah. or, or even a Viking snake. So I think that reflects certainly that part of the, yeah, the culture, the Viking culture of this city. 